India's attempt to land its spacecraft near the lunar South Pole comes just days after another nation's failed attempt to do the same. Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft crashed into the moon on August 19 after its engines misfired, ending the country's first lunar landing attempt in 47 years. India's previous attempt to land on the lunar South Pole failed in 2019. Chandrayaan-2 successfully deployed an orbiter but its lander and rover were destroyed in a crash due to software glitch. The Chandrayaan-3 mission was launched on July 14 from India's Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. The Chandrayaan-3 landed near the moon's south pole, making it the first country to do so, a region with water ice, or frozen water, that could be a source of oxygen fuel and water for future moon missions or a more permanent moon colony. Scientists and officials clapped, cheered and hugged each other as the spacecraft landed and people across India broke out in celebration, setting off firecrackers and dancing in the streets. India is on the moon, said S. Samanath, chief of the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, as the Chandrayaan-3 landed making India the fourth nation to successfully land a spacecraft on the moon after the United States, China and the former Soviet Union. A solar-powered rover named Pragyan, Sanskrit for Wisdom, roll off from Chandrayaan 3's Vikram, Valor, Lander. The robotic duo will spend one lunar day, about 14 Earth days, exploring its new home, with the goal of collecting scientific data about the moon's makeup before its batteries drain after sunset. India's lunar lander consists of three parts, a lander, rover and propulsion module, which provided the spacecraft all the thrust required to traverse the 384,400 km, 238,855 mile, void between the moon and earth, the Chandrayaan. Three lander stands about 2 meters tall and has a mass of just over 1,700 kilograms. It is designed to deploy a smaller, 26 kilograms lunar rover. Chandrayaan 3's prime objectives after landing on the moon. The propulsion module carries the spectral polarimetry of habitable planet Earth, shape, payload, which will analyze the light from Earth to study its spectral and polarimetric properties. Chandrayaan-3 is a follow-up mission to Chandrayaan-2 that will attempt to land a spacecraft on the moon and deploy a rover to explore the lunar surface. The rover will collect data on the composition and geology of the moon, which will help scientists learn more about the history and evolution of our nearest celestial neighbor. Chandrayaan-3 is carrying six payloads to study the lunar soil and capture photographs of Earth from the lunar orbit. During its 14-day mission, Chandrayaan-3 will conduct a series of groundbreaking experiments using its payloads Rumba and ILSA. These experiments will study the moon's atmosphere and dig into the surface to better understand its mineral composition. Prajayan will use its laser beams to melt a piece of the lunar surface, called regolith, and announce of the gases emitted in the process. Another payload, the Radio Anatomy of Moon-Bound Hypersensitive Ionosphere and Atmosphere Rumba, will measure the density of charged particles near the lunar surface and how it changes over time. Additionally, the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer APXS, will measure the chemical composition and infer the mineralogical composition of the Moon's surface while the Laser-Induced Breakdown Spectroscope LIBS, will determine the elemental composition of lunar soil. The Chandrayaan-3 mission costs a modest 6 billion rupees, 73 million dollar US at current exchange rates. Through this mission, India will not only access a wealth of knowledge about the lunar surface but also its potential for human habitation in the future. ISRO Chief S. Somnath said that a location near the equator is more likely to be suitable for human settlement. Chandrayaan-3 could also help spur India's space program, leading to even greater accomplishments in the future. It is going to be a game-changer for the new generation, said Bardwaj, 
adding that the success is important for the country's strategic and geopolitical purposes, as well as to drive the youth to do something different and unique. If you want to see more of our content, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel.